going on YouTube? It's Jay here. I got these uh, comic pickups. Now, very fortunate. Uh, went to the local comic shop. I mean, dig through some old boxes. And I was like, hey, I'm game. Had a little time that day, which is uh, often pretty rare for me. But um, I'm just going to get into it very quickly. You got Deadpool number 56. That's from uh, the first ongoing series. I mean, you look at him there, he's like, uh, yeah, you ugly. You your mama's son. Hey. Anyway, that was uh, just one of them. Pretty cool cover. You know, a couple of uh, people with machine guns and things of that nature. But, um, moving on. Deadpool 53. You got the name of these twins here. But, uh, I'm going to say this is their first appearance. Um, they should be in the next Deadpool movie, the sequel. Uh, we'll see about that. And, um, pretty cool cover. I think this might be the first time uh, Deadpool actually had that, like, scarf-looking mask on. Pretty cool, though. Here we got the twins again. Deadpool 52. Not much to say about that. Amanda Connor cover. And, uh, yeah, I actually forgot I had this one. Deadpool 48, Buried Alive. You know, maybe I'm thinking The Undertaker for some reason. Then, uh, on to, uh, Marvel again. Old Man Logan. Uh, anytime I see one of these, I just pick them up. You know, can't go wrong with this storyline. Awesome story. It's a Red Skull, Captain America outfit. Um, I know the Suicide Squad movie is long, long done with, and, you know, plenty of mixed reviews about that, but anyway, I found two of these, $3 each, Diablo, El Diablo, the uh, first appearance of uh, this character, so yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. DC back to Marvel, uh, X-Men Sword of the Braddocks, it's probably my uh, second copy that I've uh, located, uh, decent, decent uh, condition, last one I got was uh, probably a little better, but uh, it's still like a you know, mid to high nine, uh, Captain America number six, this is the first appearance of the Winter Soldier, we all know who that is, that is he. to my Adam Hughes pickups. Now these I was really excited about. But anyway, I'll run through and pick a few of them. Got the Legion number 35. Oh, I was wrong. I jumped right back into DC books again. Uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, I think this was a Hughes cover actually too. Uh, yeah, this was Adam Hughes. Wonder Woman 188. This is really one of my favorites. I really like this black cover. Icy. Catwoman 69. Here's Catwoman number 69. Anyway. Yeah, I think this is a underrated cover. I love the uh, Batman villain gallery in the background. And also, uh, Catwoman's looking a little stressed out there. You know, sitting in front of him. Bunch of monitors with a back turn to it, almost like uh, one of those things you can't handle today. But I guess we've all had one of those days before, right? If you listen to my voice now, I sound like, you know, raspy, like a raspy uh, Darth Vader or something. Uh, anyway, Adam Hughes cover. Really, really, really enjoy this one. Next, Catwoman number 76. Uh, I don't know about this one. This is why he's getting drugged up. I'll be honest, didn't read it. Just love the covers. Keep it moving. That one is 66. Like I said, I just pick up a little of these covers. Really like his style. And, uh, so we look out missing. Look at the Tana Love by uh, Mr. Hughes. Catwoman books that I just showed before. So 
but this one is definitely a gem to me. Uh, red background, just solid red. You know, Catwoman in crazy pose, lifting a mask up. You know, the dunk You know, you got the whip. You got everything going, the big zipper loop. But uh, yeah, this is really, really just a nice piece. I mean, it's uh, not in the best condition. You know, a couple spine ticks. You can see it. But uh, yeah. I think I actually have another Apple 74, but this one is just so cool. Like she's looking into a mirror that she's pretty much stealing to get to a safe behind the wall. I mean, this is just such a such a creative, I think, cover, creative piece, and uh, I know it probably fetches uh, this one and the one before it probably fetches a decent penny. Uh, not even sure anymore because I'm not in the market for it. I know the last time I even checked on them, they were pretty expensive. So I was happy to get those and this for $3. You know, pretty much $3 each issue every 